I found this story to be very fascinating because in case you ain't been hearing the murmurings in the anime and manga community and honestly writers around the world and artists around the world, a lot of people have been very upset about the emergence of AI. It's been quite a bit now since they've started developing and releasing publicly these apps where you could write whatever, you know what I'm saying? You could write Goku flying across the moon and it'll draw it the best way it can. Obviously, they don't have copyright ideas. Ideally, they shouldn't be able to replicate it. But the big problem with AI is the fact that, yo, dog, it is stealing from other art to create that art. It's using like a million pictures in its database and using that as reference to draw and make whatever you want it to make. And a lot of fans and creatives alike are not excited about that. On top of the fact that, yo, dog, this would be replacing our favorite mangaka and you would lose a little bit of that soul and passion when it's just, you know, a heartless bot that is putting it together. So a lot of people are still very much so against ai however it seems as though the manga industry is like yo fam we about to get it and we gonna get this ai manga popping because yeah there's an ai manga coming because according to this article it says an ai drawn manga is about to make its debut you might not expect the art world to drum up a lot of drama but you'd be dead wrong there with the new year upon us it seems the budding controversy regarding ai art is only getting bigger from harsh ethical debates to ownership issues AI generated art has prompted all sorts of controversy and now it seems like a publisher in Japan is sparking more debate with an AI drawn manga. The update comes from Root Put as the manga creator is teaming with Shin Chosha to make an AI drawn manga. According to the publisher it's Bunch Comics imprint will publish the experimental manga on March 9th and all eyes are on the project to see how it fares. After all Root Put will be using AI software to make a sci-fi manga from scratch from editing to assembly the whole thing will be done using AI, but the story will not be made up. Instead, Root Put's manga will reimagine the old Japanese legend of Momotaro. The manga will begin with an odd couple finding a mysterious boy outside of their strip club in Neo Okoyama. Things get messy when they realize the kid has valuable data at hand, and Momotaro, or Peach John in the manga, will be tasked with protecting the info from foes. As you can see above, the stills from this upcoming manga scream cyberpunk, and it is wild knowing it was done by AI. Well, let, 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 let's backtrack. Hold on, because now they're getting into their opinion so let me give mine because we have a couple of shots of this again cyberpunk peach john and the art yeah as far as like if i didn't know any better i would be like wow yo somebody put in a lot of time like this will probably take sui shida i don't even know at least a few different days and a few different sessions to complete it with all of the strokes and whatnot but it's like yo an ai made it and again going to you know a couple of the pages is like yo dog it looks it looks good even this page right here i really like this page too is like it looks good but the fact that it's AI is honestly going to be a difficult thing for me to really wrap my brain around to be honest with you and I could definitely tell that with the March 9th release we're probably going to see a massive uh yeah battle ensue between creatives and that I would say my best solution to this whole thing is if you're a creative and you're worried about this manga and you're worried about AI ignore it ignore this whole thing when march 9th comes and they start drumming up with promo and people are pushing it around don't reply to it don't say nothing to it just act like it doesn't exist because the more you contribute to it the faster this ai thing is gonna get off the ground and into you know what i'm saying the stratosphere so to speak i know a lot of people are like yo but if we go at it and if we try to boycott okay you're gonna stop this one now and then another one's gonna come and another one's gonna come so i would say my best advice is if you're against this cyberpunk peach thingy majig probably just ignore it because it's gonna yeah i mean ai is coming inevitably and i'm not even gonna lie yes the art just if i'm being honest it does look appealing to the eye however again it's like it's ai not your eye and just in general it's like wow yo they really got some gohones so to speak to be even trying to push this considering the climate right now especially with artists creatives alike are like yo dog no we don't want that in our community so it's gonna be fascinating to see what happens with ai moving forward but as it stands right now there's a new ai manga coming march 9th let's see what happens let's close this bad boy off with the top 50 best-selling manga of the week courtesy of jose underscore k and we got places 50 through 41 to start off with and if i'm not mistaken minus two volumes we've got nothing but a blue lock 
hype train that is rushing through like a storm because uh, aside from places 47 and 48, Blue Lock is tearing it up. Volume 4, 5, 3, 2, 17, 1, 15, 16. Yeah, Blue Lock's anime is clearly making this manga go through the freaking roof with sales because it's crazy. And all of them did about 22 to 23,000 copies a piece. So, yeah, whatever episode recently aired or whatever is going on in the manga, uh, it got people very, very hyped to go and run out and get them. Also, shout outs to Kaguya Sama at 48. Uh, with the final volume doing another 22,000, almost 200K before leaving the top 50 for the final volume. Then we got places 40 through 31 with, let's see, more blue lock, a whole bunch of blue lock. Jeez Louise, aside from Windbreaker at number 40, yet again, blue lock, 23,000, 24,000 a piece for volumes 18, 19, 12, 20, 10, 11, 9, 14, 8. Wow, like people really loving them some blue luck, huh? Not much to say there. Uh, so let's hop on over to places 30 through 21. Blue Lock yet again occupying places 30 through 28. Wow. Blue Lock clearly, it's the new sports series, hands down. Like, there's no debating it anymore. Like, what's going to replace Haikyuu? What's going to replace Kuroko? Well, Kuroko been replaced by Haikyuu, but you get the point. Yeah, Blue Lock is here, and it is swinging hard body. Then moving forward, we got places 27 and 26 with Chainsaw Man Volumes 3 and 4, selling 26000 a piece with 1.2 mil a piece, roughly. At 25, Spy Fan. Family's latest volume, volume 10, another 26,000, bringing its total to 1.5 million sales. Jeez Louise. I mean, yeah, it's been out since October, but that's still massive sales. Then we got a 24 Chainsaw Man again, volume 2, with 1.335 mil. Gotta have that power up in there, you know what I'm saying? We got Sose no Onmyoji, if I'm not mistaken, isn't that Twin Star Exorcist? Uh, with 26,000 in 5 days, not bad, almost 27. Then we got Chainsaw Man Volume 1 at 22 with another 27,000 this week bringing it to 1.4 mil. I remember a few months back it was crazy that it was Chainsaw Man 2 that was the highest seller but Chainsaw Man 1's volumes people are running out and grabbing that bad boy because obviously the anime success and just in general Chainsaw Man is damn near inescapable on social media. But then we got the top 10 top 10 top 10 top 10 at number 10 the latest volume from the Elusive Samurai Volume 9 in 5 days. 32.8k i believe that's from the same author as assassination classroom and while sales aren't major right now you know i guess it's one of those things where we'll see what the anime does and this one kind of shocked me quite a bit that volume 9 of witch watch which must have started right around the time as elusive samurai actually outsold elusive samurai with this one with 342 K, so they might start putting a little bit more of importance into promoting Witch Watch and making sure that it actually gets to where it's trying to go. At number 7, the first slam dunk resource. 36,000 this week, 302K. Okay, I actually really want to see what the heck is going on with this film that is pushing it. Like, I get it, slam dunk, one of the highest selling manga of all time, all of that stuff, but fam, I thought with that movie it was not going to turn out well, and I'm here to admit. I was wrong. I was absolutely wrong. Slam Dunk is, yeah, that movie must have did something great for fans, and I'm not that averse to checking it out uh, because it's clear as day fans really love it, so there got to be something special in there, right? Uh, then at number six, yet again, still in the top 10 and since October 4th, Chainsaw Man Volume 12, 38,000 this week, bringing its total to 760k. My goodness, the fact that it's still in the top 10 astronomical at number five the latest volume from don the don volume eight in five days 65.8 k don the don still doing big things and when that anime comes it's gonna probably get something close to how chainsaw man is right now because don the don is a wild ride and he also came up under tatsuki fujimoto at number four jujutsu kaisen's latest volume 21 with 66 k this week bringing its total to 1.3 mil kind of crazy man jujutsu kaisen ending in 2023 i don't want it to end <laughs> then at number two roroni kenshin hokkaido arc volume eight in five days 90 5,000 sales definitely gearing up for the big anime reboot and all of that stuff but coming in at number one with a very interesting cover because normally you would expect that yo they're gonna really try and push and they're gonna have all of the main mascot most popular characters as the cover but 
Chainsaw Man Volume 13 has a character that is not necessarily a main character per se on the cover which is kind of interesting and also in 5 days did 284,000 copies already and it's kind of nuts that the last volume that came out in October hasn't even left the top 10 yet and we already got another one Chainsaw Man it may not be the biggest seller in terms of per volume because realistically the highest volume is only at 1.5 4 million sales but the fan base is seemingly steadily growing it's strange because it feels like it's the most biggest thing in the world but the sales per volume aren't that extravagant yet i'm guessing with time these things will be at four and five million but yeah chainsaw man debuting at number one again everything with that ip has been nothing but a success so hats off to fujimoto and shueisha for getting it done but yeah people that was the top 50 best-selling manga of the week very blue locky and chainsaw manny <laughs> have an awesome day subscribe and hit that bell to get more yeah lights be flashing and looking at me such an odd unique yet i'm so unique and you're looking at me if the wolves could talk they would probably be bleak and i'd probably say bitch get the fuck off me